This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. I don't believe this Republican Party can be fixed, saved, or reformed. I've been really damn public about that. I don't believe my former political party can be saved, but I do know this. This has to happen in 91 days for the Republican Party to even have a shot at being fixed or reformed or saved. I've been very, very public since I left the Republican Party a little over four years ago that that my party is, my former party is on this MAGA, Trump, Trumpism, ugly, authoritarian, nationalistic path and they're not getting off of the path And there aren't enough Americans who want on this ugly, nationalistic, authoritarian path. The Republican Party voter right now is primarily a middle-aged, older white man or woman. Uh, Older white men and women, just like older black men and women tend to die, uh, right? Uh, and, And the Republican Party is not replacing itself because it's an ugly, intolerant, nationalistic, authoritarian party right now. And so I don't see this party, my former political party, getting off of this path and being able to be saved. But here's the deal. This is the only way it has a shot. This is the only way the Republican Party has a shot at being fixed and healed and reformed and saved. Donald Trump must get his ass spanked in November. I mean, it's got to be the mother of all landslides. Trump and MAGA need to go down in an annihilation in November. Only a humongous defeat. A landslide defeat for Trump and MAGA. Only that could give the Republican Party an opening to begin to fix and heal and reform itself. It ain't enough that Trump loses. Let me be clear about this. Let me be clear right now, everybody listening to me right now. If you want there to be a normal, sane Republican Party, and I think damn near everybody listening to me does want that, I want two healthy political parties in America, don't you? Raise your hand, don't you? I want two healthy political parties. We don't have that right now. We have one healthy political party, the Democratic Party. Uh, We have one. The Republican Party is not a healthy political party. It is an authoritarian embracing cult. I I don't want, by the way, I don't want just two healthy political parties in America. I want three. I'd love four. That's a discussion for another day. But I'm going to assume that even you Democrats listening to me right now, you want to get back to a place where we have two healthy political parties disagreeing and debating on issues. If you want that, Trump losing in November ain't going to get that for you. Trump just losing isn't enough. It's vital. It's vital that Trump loses. But him just losing, him losing a close race, him losing even sort of a close race, Trump, Trumpism, And MAGA live on to fight another day to fight in 2026. Trump, Trumpism, and MAGA don't go anywhere. If Kamala Harris just ekes out a close victory. If Trump loses, 
and the defeat is close, Trump lives. Trumpism lives. MAGA lives. The Republican Party does not heal itself. Only a spanking. Only a landslide. Only an utterly embarrassing defeat where there is a referendum and the country clearly says, Trump, Trump is a MAGA, that ain't America. We don't want that. Heal thyself, Republican Party. Now, I'm not saying that will save the Republican Party if Trump is defeated in a landslide. I'm saying that's the only shot we have to possibly begin to reform this Republican Party. It ain't guaranteed, but that's the only, that, that's the only shot you got. Understand, Donald Trump will never accept an election loss, no matter how big or small. Understand, most of Trump's supporters will never accept an election loss, big or small. Understand that there are, there are elections officials in states who, if this election is close, they will fuck with this election. That's all a big, scary, nightmare concern. But if Trump goes down to a big-ass whooping defeat, if Trumpism and MAGA is utterly shown the back of our hands, and it's a humongous landslide defeat, there's a chance that Republicans will begin to say, this isn't it. I speak with Republicans every day. I come from MAGA. I speak with Trump supporters every day. I'm telling you that if Donald Trump and MAGA are destroyed in November, there are Trump supporters who will say no mas. Not all, but there are. If you want, as I want, my former political party to change. And as I sit here before you this Thursday, I don't believe the Republican Party can change. I don't believe this party will change. I don't believe this party will heal itself, fix and, and, and reform and be reformed. I don't. I'd like to see it fixed and healed and reformed. I'm just telling you the only, only way that is even remotely possible is an embarrassing landslide defeat for Trump. So this is all, this is what, for, for one reason, there are a lot of reasons we want Trump to be spanked in November, but this is one of them uh, for the hope that this Republican Party can be fixed. It's the only way it might happen. Hey, I'm Joe Walsh. Thanks for listening. White Flag with Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh, white flag at gmail.com. That's my email, all one word. Joe Walsh, white flag at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.